guys. This is Tina. I just wanted to stop in for a quick story. Thank you for the new subscribers. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into the story that I wanted to talk about today, and that is the story of Gerald Gallego and Charlene Gallego, also known as Charlene Williams, but she has since changed her name. So in the late 70s, I want to say 78 to 80, um, they are or were convicted also for murder and for SA um, of ten, at least 10 women. So what would happen apparently to uh, Charlene's account is that uh, she would lure women in for Harold, and then they would keep them as a slave, you know, um, of their home or whatever, you know, the S.A. type slave. So um, the, the women were murdered, and it's interesting that, um, unfortunately, Gerald was convicted in Nevada, and his, his convictions were for Karen Twiggs and Stacey Redican. And he was subsequently uh, uh, sentenced to death, but he died of cancer in prison. So Charlene did serve her sentence out. What is weird is now, her, okay, her name was Charlene Williams, so she must have changed it from um, Gerard, uh, Gerald's last name. So now she goes under an assumed name. She's out in the population. I think she's been out since around 2013. I just think that's kind of a trip. Um that you could be part of something like that and then be released back into society. How does a person live a normal life? She claims that she was a victim and that she says that she tried to help save some of the girls' lives, but, um, you know, she did plead guilty to some pretty major things. And I just... Um, I can't imagine. She says that, you know, it's hard for her to move on for, with her life. Well, you're involved in taking lives, so I, I think it's going to be hard for or people to ever trust you again. I don't, I don't really know. I imagine that it's hard for the victim's families to know that she's out there, too, living her life when their children no longer get to have theirs. I mean, all the people that... Um, her, hus her husband at the time, um, Gerald, and Charlene committed were all against young teen girls, you know, and they not only did these heinous things and, you know, SA type things and, you know, slave things, um, you know, and these, these, these girls suffered. Um, the person that, you know, Charlene w Williams, but now who goes under another name, um, is out there somewhere, um, you know, it's just, it's kind of weird to me. I can't imagine, like, coming across her. So um, I'm not going to try to hold anything against her. She did serve her time. She uh, took a plea with the prosecution, and that's why she was able to be released. Um, and then, as I said, she said she sees herself as a victim of uh, Gerald because she was being controlled by him. Um, that is, some, sometimes that's the case in some relationships, but... The extent of some of the evidence that uh, her involvement is just a little bit too much. So it's hard for me to, um, you know, forget that. I'm sure it's hard for anyone to forget that. Apparently she says she thinks about the victims all the time, but, you know, I don't know what's in her head. I just think that um, being involved in something like that is just, it's just nuts. So anyways, I just want to uh, stop in for a quick story. I hope you guys have a great day. And if you can follow, subscribe, or just watch the videos. Until the next video, I'll see you soon. Okay, take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. I would really love to hear your feedback. Please subscribe if you can.